Okay, hi guys. I'm just here to film a super quick intro. So I will do like a proper intro when I get back. I'm rushing because I want to make the bus. So basically, I'm going to film a cozy little reading vlog. It's going to be kind of like a weekend reading vlog. It might be like a little longer. Today is Friday the 7th of October. So happy Maxident Day. Happy Stray Kids Day. New Stray Kids album. We absolutely love that. So happy. I have had it on repeat this morning. I'm loving it. I can't wait for my pre-order to arrive. But anyways, I have so many exciting things planned for this weekend. I'm hoping to go to a pumpkin patch and obviously get some pumpkins and do some other autumnal things. I started reading Not Your Average Hot Guide last night. I'll put it on the screen here because it's currently in my bag. I'm like a hundred and something pages into it and I'm really, really enjoying it. I just really love the main character. I like the occult vibes and the lore, the stuff to do with heaven and hell. It's basically a kind of rom-com between this girl who runs an escape room business with her mum. She's really into occult stuff and like known facts and things like that about it and then one day this cult walks in and they take this grimoire that she has that she didn't realize was real that could summon someone from hell and this cult comes in steals it kidnaps her and they summon this minister of hell they don't know it's actually the prince of hell so it's lucifer's son and yeah he has his own agenda for while he's there but he's like drawn to this girl and vice versa and they are trying to stop basically hell on earth so it's very very good so far i'm really really loving it i'm just absolutely loving the story and the characters it's just so good so yeah i'm 100 pages into that so i would like to try and read all of it this weekend i am popping out now to town because i have this reserved in the bookshop but it's the new deluxe edition of the girl from the other side i've read the first volume of that but i really want to get the complete editions the second one comes out soon and i've ordered this ages ago and it just didn't come so i saw that my local bookstore had it in stock and i've reserved it so i want to go and pick that up and then I also have been trying to get the Death Note compendium with all the volumes in because I have the first three books of the Black Editions but I can't get hold of the rest and I really want to read them all together so I decided to just try and get that. Again, it hasn't turned up for a while so I've managed to reserve a copy in another bookstore in a local city so I'm going to pick that up as well. So yeah, I have two different manga collections to pick up so I might read one of those this weekend. Probably not the Death Note one but maybe the girl from the other side. I don't know how many volumes it has in there, but I think I might read that this weekend, potentially. But yeah, that's all my updates and plans. I'm also currently listening to The Pet Cemetery on audio by Stephen King. So yeah, sorry for this really rushed and chaotic intro to this vlog. I'll chat to you guys properly when I get home later, but for now, I'm going to pop out, go to those two places. I might pop to Starbucks and sit and read some more of my book. I will catch up with you guys when I get home, and hopefully I have a reading update and a haul, potentially. Bye. <laughs> Okay, hi guys. So it's a little bit later. I didn't really film anything whilst I was out. It was just super busy out. I just didn't want to get my camera out. But I did pick up the books that I need to. And I read a little bit more of Not Your Ever Chalk Guy. So I'm now on page 145. So I'm nearly halfway. And I'm really enjoying this. This would be really good for the people who like the X-Hex. And that sort of thing. A bit of like a rom-com with like the real world with magic in it kind of vibe and it's just really funny i just really like the characters and the world that it's kind of presenting so yeah in this there's like heaven and hell angels and demons and devils and all of that sort of stuff and it's just really really entertaining i love how the occult and religion and the unknown is woven into like this story and kind of the characters dealing with those things our main character i just really really like her i like the pop culture references in here i like that the main character is really into like the occult and stuff she's not into like the dark stuff she is considered to be on the good side like heaven 
but she knows a lot about the occult she reads a lot of books and she reads a lot about like history and the cult and mysticism and that sort of thing because she has like themed rooms in the escape room that her and her mum run um, and one of them is like a black magic themed room so she knows like a lot of stuff and I just love that I just think it's so interesting and I like how like actual facts like this and like kind of like holy grail items and like kind of like religious you know myths are woven into the story it's just so interesting and so fun and I do like the romance that's kind of going on in here it's just very very entertaining I'm just having a fun time with this like this is just really really fun so if you do like those sorts of like rom commy books and you will definitely enjoy this one um i am flying through it so yeah i'm almost halfway now so i'm hoping to finish this this weekend and then i listened to the tiniest bit more pet cemetery but honestly i'm kind of bored like nothing's really happened yet it's still like kind of just setting up the story i guess um so i'm on chapter 12 so according to this chapter 12 is page 66 so my goodness this book is so friggin long just feel like it's droning on about this small town but i mean i think maybe when the plot starts and the spooky stuff starts i will start to like it so far i just feel like it's dragging and nothing really significant is happening but i think i just need to be patient and wait and see what happens these are my reading updates and what i'm currently reading i might pick up nothing but black and teeth once i finish that as well just for like a short horror novella to squeeze in so this is like a potential one i might read so that's all my reading updates and stuff then we have my book haul that i actually went out for so i got both of the manga that i said i was going to get and then i bought one other book as well so i did pick up the deluxe edition of the girl from the other side so this is volume one the second volume comes out soon in the deluxe editions so i think this has volumes one to three in it which i do already own like the individual volumes i think i have the first four i've only read volume one but it was quite a while ago so i can't remember like a lot of it but i just really really wanted this because it's so beautiful and i would just prefer to read it like this so yeah i'm definitely gonna get the second one when it comes out this is a gorgeous book and i've been trying to get hold of this for so long so i might actually read this this weekend because i'm definitely still in the mood for a manga i read liminal zone by junji ito last night and it's got me like in the manga mood i really really love that by the way definitely recommend one of my favorite junji ito's i've read i gave it four stars um but anyway so this is the book it's gorgeous it has this gold detailing on it and then on the back so yeah i really really love this edition so this is basically about this little girl and this kind of i don't even know what it is let's call it a creature and there's like all these weird kind of like lore and stuff about it from what i remember that like you can get sick from them or something like humans can i don't know but basically the creatures ended up looking after this little girl and yeah it was quite cute and interesting the first one but I don't remember a lot about it. Forward to rereading the first volume and reading the other two. So I think I will maybe pick this up this weekend. If not, I might read another Junji Ito. We'll see. Um, but I'm definitely in the mood for a manga. And then I did get the Death Note collection. So I got both of these at Waterstones. Um, is this upside down? <laughs> it's upside down. Um, so here it is here. So it comes in this hard case, like slipcase thing. And it says Death Note all in one edition on it. And then this is like the side so yeah it's really cool and then we have the actual compendium so i'll just open it so like i said earlier i own the first three black edition books which is volumes one two six i think i might be wrong i can't remember i've only read the first one but it was in 2020 so i want to reread it anyways but i wanted this because i can't get any of the black editions at the moment like the rest of them and i want to like do a video reading all of the death notes manga so i figured this would be the perfect thing to get however i may cheat and mark it as individual volumes on goodreads because if i'm going to be reading every single volume of death note i am not just putting one book on my goodreads like i'm sorry but i will be marking them individually so this is freaking huge right i really don't know how many volumes are in here but it is a lot i can't remember how many the complete death note is but yeah this is what it looks like so it's very chunky <laughs> like look how thick this is <laughs> it's so big um i hope it marks the volumes but i don't think it does so i don't know how i'm gonna mark them all hopefully maybe i'll just look at like my black editions and figure out which volumes which because i definitely want to mark these individually on goodreads but yeah i am planning to film a video i think reading this entire thing so if you would be interested in that let me know but i'm very very excited so yeah this is what it looks like i'm so 
happy that I finally managed to get this and I can finally read all of the Death Note manga because I've been wanting to for so long. But yeah, anyways, so I did manage to get the two manga that I have literally been trying to get these both for so long and the fact that they were both in stock today in two different bookstores near me is just so coincidental it's so weird um but i'm so happy that i finally own both of these like i really have wanted these for so long so yeah as soon as i saw they were both in stock in the bookstores i had to get them and then the other book that i picked up is a signed edition of she and her cat so i've already talked about this book in either a previous vlog book haul or something like that i got sent an arc of it it's just come out i didn't get around to reading it unfortunately but i do plan to read it very soon maybe even actually during this vlog because it's quite short there's a manga for this and i don't know if the manga inspired the novel or the novel inspired the manga i've read the manga and i did enjoy it it's more of a literary fiction type so it's translated from japanese and it's basically following this woman and it talks about like connection and day-to-day -day human life relationships and it kind of also talks about like how we find connection with like other people in a sense of community even in our darkest times and how that can somehow like bring us out of that darkness so yeah it's kind of like talks about the mundane but makes you realize just how important those mundane things are in day-to-day -day life so yes i'm very very excited to read it and the reason that i got another copy even though i already own the arc is just because this was signed and i know i'm gonna really enjoy it so they didn't have too many signed ones left and i hadn't seen a signed one before so i thought i'd pick it up whilst i was there so it has like a little signed book plate in it um and you know i love a signed edition so yeah i had to pick this up so yeah this is from waterstone oh the cat's eyes are like embossed i just noticed that's so cute so i'm so happy to have a signed copy of this cannot wait to read it um i am very tempted to now read this this weekend oh my god it also has illustrations in how freaking cute okay i really want to pick this up now so i might i might read both of these after i finish that romance one because they're both like short books i feel like they'll be fun to break reads up with but i'm planning to get a lot of reading done this weekend so my plans basically are to go to a pumpkin patch at some point so i was going to do that tomorrow but jamie's working now so i think on sunday we're going to go to like pumpkin patches so tomorrow i think i might stay home have a cozy reading day do some baking and like maybe watch like hocus pocus you know just have like a nice cozy day so yeah it's gonna be a fun time i don't know when i'm gonna end this vlog i don't know if i'll end on sunday or carry through to monday and i know this clip's really really long but yeah anyways i just wanted to like properly chat to you guys because i know my intro was super short before but i think i'm gonna actually set up my october reading journal because it's like the 7th of october and i still haven't done that so i'm gonna film that for my patreon so if you do want to see that i film like an exclusive a journaling video every single month for my super moon patrons so that will be up on there if you did want to go and watch that but yeah i think i'm gonna do that maybe listen to the pet cemetery audiobook have a cup of tea and then i will get some reading done so yeah that's all of my updates and things i want to talk about i will probably catch up with you guys in a little while
Okay, hey guys, so it's much later in the evening. It's like 11 p.m. now. And I'm gonna go to bed because I wanna get up early tomorrow and just have a nice productive day. So yeah, journaling took me way longer and my camera decided to stop recording halfway through. So that was great. But hopefully the video still turns out okay. I actually really like how my spreads look. I feel like they look quite cute. So I'm glad I finally done it. But yeah, I have been reading some more of Not Your Average Hot Guy. I have just over 100 pages left. I'm on chapter 18, which is page 204. So yeah, I have like a third of the book left, maybe less than a third now. I'm just loving this. It's just so fast paced, so fun. It's literally one of the best romance books I've read, but like not necessarily romance, more like, I guess you could call this kind of like fantasy romance, but it's more like paranormal. I don't know. I just love the kind of mythology that's in here because Styx is in here as well, which is really cool. She makes references to Greek myths, to Dante, um, to certain artists, to occult beliefs, to mysticism, all these different things. And I just love it. Like I love how all these things are in here because I find them very interesting. So to see it in a book and it being discussed within the story is just so fun. There's lots of trivia to do with it in here, lots of humour as well and the banter and the romance and stuff is just so cool and I just like the plot as well. Like this book is so much better than I thought it would be. I'm just absolutely loving it. It's definitely giving me the same feelings that the X Hacks and the Kiss Cast did. So I just love it. It's really, really good. I'm already feeling like a 4.5 stars, maybe even five, because it's just that fun. So yeah, I'm really, really loving it. They're currently in hell and it's so interesting hearing how hell is in this world and the lore and stuff. I just love it. And we've just met Lilith and it's not really a spoiler or anything, but yeah, Lilith is obviously in here. Hell, so yeah, we're just about to meet Lilith. Very, very excited to see how that's going to go because I find Lilith fascinating. So yeah, this book is about 308 pages long, so I literally have like 104 pages left. So I'm going to finish this tomorrow, which I'm really, really happy about because I only started this book last night. So yes, that's good progress. This will be my fifth book finished this month. So very, very excited to finish this and have no idea what I'm going to start next, but... I'm gonna go to bed now and hopefully get some good sleep and I can wake up at a decent time tomorrow and read, get loads of stuff done, have a nice cozy day. So yes, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning and yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is Saturday and I'm planning to have a cozy day at home today because Jamie's had to take the car so I can't really go out anywhere so we're just going to have like a nice chill day which actually works out perfect because I have bought a few things to make this room a bit more cozy, make it a little bit more autumnal. So I want to like do that today and then I also have a very exciting big box here that I need to unbox and this is actually a reading light which is actually sent to me by the sponsor of this video which is Serious Readers. So yeah I need to set that up and you will see me use that throughout the rest of this vlog and then I will probably give you guys a little bit of review towards the end of this vlog when I've been using it for a couple of days and stuff. So I'm very very excited because I've had this for about a week and I have been waiting until this video is set up so I'm very very excited. So I will quickly tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor and I would highly recommend you do stick around for this because I get a lot of sponsorship requests and some of them are for the most random things and I try to be very very selective with who I work with not only to ensure like they're a good company but also so that it's something that like links to my channel and my content and also something you guys would actually like. So when CS readers reached out to me and I researched them a little bit I was like this is perfect because if you're in the UK right now it gets dark about 7 p.m and then within the next month it'll be dark by like 5 p.m and yeah there's just no daylight whatsoever and this is another reason i'm so freaking excited about this light is because serious readers uses technology that's called wavelength daylight technology which literally replicates daylight so for us book lovers or readers in the uk i don't think this could be more perfect honestly like I just hate that it's dark as soon as I get home from work or just in the evenings. I love autumn and winter, but I just don't like the darkness of it. So having a light that replicates daylight is just 
perfect for me and I'm sure it is for most bucklers anyway all year round but you can use this light as like a general light and for lots of other things as well so it really is perfect so yeah serious readers is a British company they make their lights in the UK and their lights are fully customizable so you can change the color the metal you can get a lightweight base or a heavy base you can get like a table one or a floor one so there's lots of options to like make it like your perfect reading light so yeah they have very kindly given me a code you guys can use which is jody6 i'll have it in the description box as well so when you buy a light from their serious lights range i'll have like some of the examples on the screen here you get a free compact light with it so i also have one of those which they very kindly sent me to set up as well so i think i'm gonna put that one either on my desk in the library or in the living room but yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much to Series Readers for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys did stick around for that because I do think you guys will love this. And I also just want to say as well how nice the people are at Series Readers. Like I've worked with a few different companies now and I have to say they have been like the most professional and the nicest and like the most what's the phrase well communicated community i can't even speak today i don't even know what i'm trying to say but they communicate very well and have just been super super nice so yes i do already <laughs> really really like them but i'm just so excited the plan for this room is this is my halloween autumnal haul part as well so we're gonna set up the reading light next to my bed and then i have these <laughs> so these i think there's either 10 or 15 strings of these autumn lights which actually smell gross by the way um but yeah i have loads of these so i was planning to stick them in rows on my wall behind the bed to make it look autumnal and nice but i can't reach we have very high ceilings and i don't think i can pull out the bed on my own because it's filled with crap so i don't know how i'm gonna do that to get ladders behind it but i'm gonna try um, so yeah, we're going to try and put these up. I just wish I had like those nice curtain lights to put on top, but maybe I can get some of those a different time. Also have these little witch's hats that like dangle down. So I was thinking if I can reach the ceiling somehow, maybe I can hang these in the corner and have them dangling down. But our ceilings might be a bit too high. I'm not sure. But I have those and then I do have all of my autumn decorations still packed away for the most part. So I do need to get those out, but I will be filming like a separate video for patreon decorating the entire house but i might pull some out today for this room but that is the plan we're going to make this room a nice autumnal cozy kind of reading area we're going to set up the light so anyways back to the books so i was listening to the pet cemetery as my audiobook but i just think i need something that's a little bit more fast paced because it's just a bit too slow for me at the moment so i'm gonna like softy an effort so basically i'll come back to it hopefully this month but i started clown in a cornfield instead so i'm currently on chapter three which if my bookmark is correct is page 46 so i'm not very far in at all but i have three hours of audio to listen to if i listen to it at the speed i'm currently at so hopefully i can finish this this weekend i'm enjoying it so far it's just setting up kind of these small town vibes we've had like a little bit of like a backstory to something horrific that happened but i'm not too sure yet how it relates to the main incident in here so yeah we'll see how that kind of goes i'm assuming we're going to find out and how everything transpired maybe on this one specific night but we're yet to be introduced to this killer clown so yes i'm enjoying it so far it's interesting so yeah we have this and i will say it definitely has stephen king vibes like the small town vibes is reminding me of like a stephen king novel i don't know why but it is but yeah anyways i am enjoying it so far and then i did read a little bit more of not your average hot guy this morning i can't remember what page i was on when i last updated you guys but i'm now on page 232 so i have about just under 80 pages left so i definitely do plan to finish reading this today still absolutely loving this it's making me want to pick up like i have this dk witchcraft occult book that just tells you loads of information and facts about like the occult witchcraft mythology all that sort of stuff throughout history and i started it last year and i never carried on reading it but it was super interesting and really informative and because of all like the trivia to do that stuff in here it's definitely making me want to pick that back up again so i'm debating doing that as well but i am absolutely loving this book it's so good i will definitely be recommending this to everyone um so yeah i definitely do want to finish this today but yes yeah, so that is pretty much all of my updates i i'm gonna bake some cinnamon rolls as well today i think um, I want to read, I want to read a manga or a graphic novel. I'm tempted to go out for a walk, but 
whenever i go out of this house i never end up reading and i waste the day so is that a good idea probably not i made this iced coffee like hours ago and the ice has melted and now it's very watery so it's not very nice anymore but yes anyways i am going to i think should we start with pinning these up do i have the energy for that yet i don't know we'll see we'll see what i end up doing i actually don't know what i'm going to do yet so yeah anyway that's all my plans and updates for today i know this update was kind of long so i will catch up with you guys a little bit later okay so i think what i'm gonna have to do is cut the autumn leaf things because i just tried to move that bed there's not a hope in how that I'm even gonna move that bed inch. It is far too heavy. It's just gonna look a bit stupid because they should come from the very top of the ceiling down, but you guys will never really see the top, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna have to reach as high as I can. I think I'm gonna try using blue tack and hope they stay up, or maybe I'll use tape, I don't know. But yes, I'm gonna try and do that now. So I guess we'll see how that goes, and then I'm gonna listen to my audiobook for a clown in a cornfield, or whatever it's called. Um, I don't even know if I'm in focus. I probably wasn't in focus, but I'm not re-recording that clip. <laughs> um, but yes. Oh, what was that noise? I think the dog just went. But yes, anyways, I'm going to go and get some blue tack. I'm going to try and stick some of them up. And we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Right, how the hell do I untangle this mess? Like, why? So I have finished putting them up. Now it might not look too good from there, but like from the other end of the bed, it looks kind of cool. And I'm now on chapter four of Clown in the Cornfield. Um, so I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So this is how it's looking. I don't think it looks too bad. I think with some like twinkly lights on there, it will look really cute. So I'm definitely gonna try and pick some of those up. Um, I need to make the bed again because I've like destroyed it. Um, but yeah, they look kind of cute. Yeah, it looks nice and autumnal. It'd probably look better if the whole wall was like covered in those, but I only have like two strands left and I don't really want them like on like this side. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that and just get some like twinkly fairy lights in the next week to put on there as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put the reading light in this corner here because that light is Jamie's and yeah, I don't really want it there. So I think we're gonna put the reading light there. Okay, so I've put the light there for now. Now I don't know if I'm going to keep it here or put it in the corner, but I actually love it. Like, look how bright this is. Sorry if you can hear Frankie having the time of his life in the box. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So I got it in white and I got the, I think it was the heavy base. And I can't remember the metal I chose, but I'll have it all in the description bar. So you can fully adjust it because it's flexible. So you can have it like, up ways you can bend it like that you can bend it as much as you want um which i think is really really cool that you can literally just customize it to how you want it so the switch to turn it on is just on the back here and then it has this little dial so you can choose like for it to be low for it to be super bright like look how bright this is in daylight as well by the way like this is insane. So yeah, you can literally adjust it to however you want. I love this. This is going to be so good for me to be able to read in bed. And it's really, really cute. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll link below the one that I got. And then I also have the compact light, which I will set up probably a little bit later. Um, this is like the small 
one that looks like this. So I'm going to sit this on the table downstairs, I think. So it's like this little small one like this. And so I'll set that up later and show you guys that. But I love this so much. It's so cute. Look at it. And I like that it's quite small and like dainty as well. Um, I'm going to play about with how I want it sat as well. Because I might like move over the corner or more like behind this. I'm going to replace this soon. Um, but my room's looking cute. So yeah, I just need to get some fairy lights for here. Um, and put some shelves up here and I feel like it will look so much cuter, but I love this I can't wait to test this out later when it gets dark, but for now this is what it looks like Okay, so this corner is looking so cute and cozy. I have like my books on here some candles my reading light The autumn leaves up. It's looking so cute. So I absolutely love it I can't wait to get into bed tonight and have a cozy evening reading. So I'm now on chapter six of clown in a cornfield we still haven't gotten to the clown yet but it's fun so far um i feel like i want to go out i just don't want to be stuck in i hate being stuck in um like i'm an introvert and a homebody but at the same time like i feel like going out like i want to be outside i don't know i don't know what to do i'm gonna sit and decide what i want to do <laughs> and i need to clear all the mess out of my room from the light because look at this mess i need to clear this away because frankie keeps jumping in this box so yeah i'm gonna go and put this downstairs and tidy the room a bit and then i will update you guys in a bit <laughs> So my camera is about to die any second, but I literally just finished reading this book. Five stars. This book was so freaking good. I just, I can't. Like, so good. And the way it ended, I need to read the next one immediately. Just wow. Like, seriously. If you like the X-Hex and you like anything to do with kind of like witchcraft and the occult, like all of that kind of stuff, you need to read this book. It's so good. My camera's about to die, but I just wanted to like record my immediate thoughts. Absolutely, I love this. One of my favorite books I've read this year, for sure.
tripod behind me and the terrible lighting. I think I filmed like a quick update before saying I finished Not An Average Hot Guy. My camera died, so <laughs> yeah. I gave it five stars. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I don't know exactly how or why it has X-Hex kind of vibes, but it does. It was very funny at times as well. And there was lots of banter. It's not like spicy or anything, like at all. There's one very like slightly spicy scene and it's not very long and it's over very quickly. So if you're expecting like loads of smut or spice, you are not going to get it. It's very focused on the characters in the story and the romance, but not like the physical romance, if that makes sense. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. There's also good rap in there as well. And it's just a really, really fun story. And I just adored it, honestly. Like I loved every second of reading it. I flew through it and it's definitely one of the best books I've read this year. I was looking on Goodreads and so many people have rated it like two or three stars. I don't know, like it's weird. I don't know, I loved it. Like I really, really loved it. So yeah, I finished that and then I've watched it at Twilight. So I started reading Mooncakes. So I'm only on page 46 so far, but I'm loving this. I read Moonstruck the other day and I gave it three stars, but it was definitely more of a two star and I'm like reading this. I know that sounds bad, but you know, like when you start reading something else and it makes you realize like, you rated something else wrong, if that makes sense. Like, because this is giving like three, 3.5 stars so far, but Moonstruck is definitely not like on the same level of three stars as this, if that makes sense. So I think Moonstruck, I'm gonna change my rating to two stars, um, but I am really, really enjoying this so far. Like, it's so fun. The, my issue with Moonstruck was that it was quite confusing at times. I didn't quite understand the plot and I didn't like how everything was resolved towards the end like it was just very quick and very like blase but yeah this one i'm enjoying a lot more the art style in here is so beautiful um i love this page as well with the witchcraft library the main character works in a bookstore with her two um i think she calls them nanas and yeah she works in this bookstore it's called like a black cat bookstore which again i love as well and then we have like a werewolf and a demon spirit and lots of other things going on here so i'm just really really enjoying this it's very cozy um, and I just love the art. So I definitely do want to finish this this weekend. And then I did very briefly start reading this. I don't know if I've got a bookmark. Um, which is nothing but black and teeth. I'm only 14 pages in. And I totally get what people say when they say this book makes no sense. Like the writing has potential. But it makes like no sense. Like the sentences just aren't coherent at all. And like it's just so confusing like i have no idea what the main character is talking about at all so i'm already understanding why people don't like this so i don't know for sure if i'm going to carry on reading this this weekend or i might see if there's an audiobook for it because it is really short maybe the audiobook will be easier to understand um but yeah i did read 14 pages of this so maybe we'll pick this back up i think my main focus at the moment is going to be me and kate and also finishing the audiobook from clown in a cornfield so as long as i do that in the next few days i'll be happy tomorrow me and jamie are gonna go to a couple of pumpkin patches and get some pumpkins and hopefully go for like a nice autumnal walk and get some brunch somewhere so that'll be fun so i'm looking forward to like a really nice autumnal cozy day so it's 7 30 at the moment so i think for now i'm gonna go and get a bath and just have like a really chilled evening read some more of me and cakes oh also i did put my little bats up here which i think looks quite cute but i need something to go on the gap on the wall here so i'm gonna see if i can find like a scary or spooky art print or something but yeah anyways that's all of my updates and stuff i will catch up with you guys tomorrow most likely i think um so yeah good night <laughs> heartwarming like cozy vibes that heartstopper has and i love the magic in it 
and it's a story basically about friendship like inner strength and family and i just thought it was really really cute i love the romance and i also really love the witchy library that was in there as well i'm really sorry about the light i don't know what's going on but yeah i really really enjoyed it it was so much fun and yeah so basically we're just on our way to the pumpkin patch now so i'm so excited i look forward to this every single year i will update you guys properly when i get home later but yeah we're going to the pumpkin patch now guys so it's a little bit later so we've been to the pumpkin patch and stuff which was really nice and then we had to get shopping on the way home but i've gotten changed because i am so cold i am literally freezing my hair got all wind sweat so it's an absolute mess yes i do have some book mail to show you guys i don't have any reading updates because i haven't listened to any more of clown in a cornfield because i have just been busy all day so i'm hoping to finish that tonight potentially but yeah anyways i do have these books to talk about that i picked up on my way home before from my parents and then we're gonna go there for dinner later i have this one here which is grave secrets this is by alice james and this one i was kindly sent by the publisher so this is a spooky rom-com and as soon as i heard that i instantly wanted to read this it says on the front it's a lavingstone windsor mystery it says it has zombies romance vampires and croquettes so that's fun. Here is the synopsis if you do want to pause and read it. Um, I love this cover, but it's basically just a spooky rom-com. Very, very excited to read it. And next we have this US edition of Belladonna, which I ordered because I just adore this edition. I think it's beautiful. And the main reason I ordered it is because the US edition has these really cool end pages like inside. And I think this is only for the first print run, but they have this and then the naked book has this design on which i am just obsessed with it has like a little quote here in the back we have these end pages i just really really adored this as soon as i saw this i had to order the us edition i just love it and i am reading this for my patreon monthly book club slash buddy read and yeah i just really really wanted this edition so i'm so happy that i managed to get my hands on this and I just think the US cover is so, so gorgeous as well. I'm not really sure which my favourite is, but I definitely do love this one. And then lastly, I did receive an Amazon package, which was very, very kind. So I received this book from Caroline, which is Wuthering Heights, the Penguin Clothbound Classics Edition. So I have started to slowly collect some of these editions, and I really am trying to read some more classics. Now, I struggle with classics. I'm not generally a classics person. I'm still reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. I've been reading that for about a month now, but I find the writing style very dense with classics and quite often there's a lot of stuff in classics that just doesn't really need to be there that gets a bit boring. So I am taking my time reading it and once I've read that, I want to move on to some other classics such as Dracula, Frankenstein, Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. So kind of like the classic classics, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, my mum was telling me that this is like an incredible story and obviously like it is I think predominantly a romantic tale from this period So yes, and the note was so lovely. It says I'm a long-time subscriber and I just absolutely love your videos 
you seem like such a sweet and genuine person i'm excited to hear your opinion on this book lots of love caroline which was just so nice when i read that <laughs> it just made me smile so much so yes thank you so much caroline for gifting me this gorgeous edition of this book i cannot wait to read it and no doubt i will include this in a reading vlog when i do but yeah that's my book mail that's my very short kind of reading update as well um so we're gonna go to my parents and then later tonight i think i'll just try and maybe finish clan in a cornfield or something we'll see but yeah anyways i'll catch up with you guys later My new favorite spot to film in i seem to film here in this vlog a lot so i just have a coffee and i'm just here to film a little outro to this vlog because i didn't vlog more on sunday and um i didn't like after that either so i did finish some books though so i ended up finishing four books i finished these two after the weekend but i thought i'd include them in here because it wasn't like a weekend reading vlog or anything it was just like a vlog so i thought i'd talk about them so i finished four books which i'm really really happy about technically five actually let me grab the other book okay so technically five but only one book out of this one so i'll go through them quickly today is tuesday by the way so the first book i did finish was not your average hot guy and this one i gave five stars i just absolutely love this i've already spoken about it so much in this vlog so i'm not really going to go into it too much but this was just such a fun rom-com but like one of those rom-coms with something different in it whether that be a witchy vibe or a prince of hell vibe i love anything like that that isn't just a standard rom-com that has that extra something and this i just loved it and the reviews aren't that great for it on goodreads but for some reason i adored this i don't know why loads of people don't like it i didn't read the reviews i just saw the ratings but i loved it personally and i definitely do want to get the second book there is another one and the way this ends i was like oh i'm intrigued like i want to know more so yeah very very excited to read the next one but i did love this and then the next book i did finish was mooncakes which is a graphic novel i'm so happy that i finally read this i've had this on so many tbrs and had it on my shelf for so long i'm pretty sure my friend Kay gifted this to me for my birthday a couple of years ago now i can't remember if it was last year or the year before i'm sure this was from Kay um but yeah this has been on my shelf for a while and i'm just so happy i finally read it i honestly really really love this and i'm kind of sad there isn't another volume i think it is just a standalone unless i'm wrong if i'm wrong let me know please um but yeah this was like such a cozy whimsical heartwarming story i can see why people say it's good for fans of heartstopper now it has like a paranormal romance in here we have friendship we have family we have really good representation in here as well and yeah it was just a really fun story i would definitely recommend this especially for this time of year if you are looking for something on the supernatural paranormal side this is definitely a good one to go for and it does have those nice kind of heartwarming feelings and vibes that you do get from a graphic novel such as Heartstopper. So I gave this one, I think, 3.75 stars rounded up to four, which I know is oddly specific, but yeah. <laughs> then the next book I finished was Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. I only finished this yesterday. I listened to it on audio. I would recommend the audiobook. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was so good and I liked the narrator. The first, I would say 60 pages of this, I did feel were a little slow going in comparison to the rest of the book because it is just setting up the story and the vibes of this small town. So I do understand why it's like that but at the same time i was kind of just like 
are we going to get to the plot now? Where is this killer clown? But having now finished the book, I get why. We had to be introduced to these characters and find out what was going on. The reveal of like who was behind it and stuff was so interesting. I did not expect it. And this was a lot more gory than I thought it was going to be. But this is a very good slasher. If you are looking for a horror slasher to read, I would recommend this. Once it gets going, it's very, very fast paced. I love the character development of the main character. I love how much of a badass she was. And yeah, the ending was interesting. I did not expect another thing that happened there. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I gave this four stars and I'm going to pick up the second one. Um, and I did really, really enjoy the audiobook. So yes. Then next I finished Nothing But Black and Teeth. So I got up to page 14 of this on Saturday and I finished it today. Um, I read this technically in one sitting besides those first 14 pages. This is a very interesting book. It had promise. I think the reason why this has so many low ratings and negative reviews is because the author shoves in a lot of language and words that a lot of people probably wouldn't understand or have even heard of before. And I'm not talking about the kind of Japanese things in here. I'm talking about like words for like parts of the brain and stuff like this. And just some of the writing, it was doing too much. And I've never read a book that's like that before, but I just feel like the author was trying to hit a word count. I felt like they were just trying to put in impressive words. It sometimes came off a bit pretentious. And sometimes I felt like the sentences didn't even make sense or they just were too confusing to understand what the author was trying to say. So yeah, that was like the bad side to this. However, I did actually find myself enjoying this. Like if I weren't interested enough in the story, then I obviously wouldn't have sat and read this in one sitting. Even if it is short, I just wouldn't have wasted my time. So I did still enjoy the kind of haunted vibes of this. I liked that element of it, like the haunted house vibe and stuff was really, really interesting. And the dynamics between the characters and how that played out towards the end was also very interesting. But I will say the epilogue was very rushed and not long enough. I know this is a short novella, but the epilogue was just too short in my opinion. And the thing that happened in the haunted house is just so kind of glazed over. And I feel like I could have done with knowing more about the main character as well so I can kind of trust her narrative more because at times I was thinking like is the main character hallucinating or is this real like it was kind of hard to differentiate between the two so yeah I gave this two stars and um, I would say it's a high two stars because I did enjoy the like kind of haunted like vibe to it the writing just let it down if the writing wasn't doing too much and was a little more easy going then I think this would have been a three star but yeah I can see why so people don't like this but it is like a fun horror story to read in one sitting if you go into it knowing that the writing is bad <laughs> okay and then lastly I did read the first and main story out of this book I listened to it on audio so I haven't actually physically read this book um so this is by Eric LaRocca and this is things have gotten worse since we last spoke and other misfortunes so the one I read is things have gotten worse since we last spoke. I listened to the audio and honestly guys, this is just not for me. I like horror, but this is just not my kind of horror and I feel bad rating this. I think it's more of a me thing rather than this not being good. And the ratings on Goodreads for this are mostly like four or five stars. So I do think it's just me. So take this with a pinch of salt. I think most people who like this kind of horror will love it. But if you're someone who doesn't like this specific kind of horror and some of the things in here, then you will not enjoy this book and probably shouldn't bother to read it. You should only really read this if you are someone who likes horror, likes gory stuff, likes really messed up stories, then you will probably love this because the writing is very good. And the characters, you do get a sense of knowing them and it's very interesting how fast the dynamic changes and how it all plays out. So I thought that was very, very well done. And I think I'm going to give this 2.5 stars, probably two on Goodreads, because I did find that fascinating and well done. I just can't give it a high rating because it was just not my thing. I like horror. I like slashes and I like psychological horror, but there are certain things in here and it is technically... A spoiler not to the story they're just things that happen so if you're not interested at all maybe skip ahead if like you know 20 seconds or something but there are two scenes in here that I just it just was not for me one eating meat that you've left outside for several days that are infested with maggots and god knows what so you can make yourself sick and like describing eating the maggots and this rotten beef I, I can't do stuff like that. I just cannot do that kind of thing that that was just a no for me and then the whole worm 
thing is also just a big no they're just two things i just can't do in horror is that sort of stuff and it's my own fault for not maybe researching and seeing if this was going to be in here but those sorts of things are just not for me which is why i just didn't enjoy this it just took stars off for me and i'm sorry because i know a lot of people do love this book and this author's writing so like i said if you're someone who's actually just generally into horror as a genre and you don't mind those things you will probably adore this it just personally wasn't for me and i've learned that now from reading it i thought i would really like it but it's just not for me and i don't think that is any fault of the author at all or the writing or the actual story itself it's just my personal feelings and enjoyment it has to be two stars for me unfortunately um but like i said i think people who like horror will love this like if you love that type of horror as well but yeah so i technically read five books in total since friday which is amazing for me i have read more this month so far than all of last month and the previous month i think so yeah i'm very happy i think i've read eight books so far this month which is just amazing for me so October is definitely the month of healing. It's the month of reading and I love it. But yes, that is everything for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on any of the books I've mentioned. Don't forget to check my description box for the code for serious readers. I'll have all the information linked there and I would highly recommend the light. I think the compact light is amazing. I used it for journaling as you guys have seen and I've been using it since today as well and last night again. And I love it. It's literally just the perfect size. Like I needed something that was really small and I like that I can move it about as well. And um, so that's gonna come in really useful for journaling and reading at my desk. So I'm so happy that I have that. And I love the light I have by my bed. I've been using that every single night as well. And Jamie also really, really likes it. I really do love it. So I definitely would recommend it. And I love that it's customizable. So you can find all of that information out on the website and I'll link everything you need to know in the description box. But thank you so much to Serious Readers for sponsoring this video and sending me two of your lights to review i am very very happy that i have them because i've been needing them for a while so this has worked out perfectly and i hope you guys are interested in them as well um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will have all the books and things i've mentioned are linked in my description box along with the link to all my social media you can also find a link to my patreon that's where you find extra content from me such as reading vlogs a monthly book club so at the moment i'm currently filming a exclusive reading vlog full of spoilers for belladonna that will be up on there there's also photos on there we do live shows I do some reading sprints on there. We have a Discord where we chat. We do a monthly readathon and lots of other things. So if you are interested in any of those things, then you can head to my Patreon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're reading a lot of good spooky books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.